All right, folks, welcome back to Outside the Levees. I am Jared Serenay. This is my channel, and I want to welcome you if you haven't been here before. If you have been, welcome back. Thank you so much. I can't do it without your support. You guys are the ones who build me up every week and keep me going. All right, I'm down here at a private pond. I'm in South Louisiana. That's where I'm from. That's where I film most of my videos, and I'm going to try to catch a snapping turtle. That's right. Something fairly new for me. Uh, I've been doing my research on it, talking to guys who are really good at it. And I'll, I've been wanting to come try this pond. I fished it a little bit, no luck. But as I pulled up, I saw a few alligators swimming around this pond. So hopefully their cousin, the alligator snapping turtle, is living here too. So I'm gonna put out some lines, uh, you know, 10 to 15 foot of a nylon, heavy duty, high pound test line. I'm gonna put it out with some fish for bait and some hooks. Here's some of my fish I just caught with a cast net. We got some mullet and some pogies in there. I also got some brim that I caught with rod and reel and froze for a situation like this. So let's start getting them cut up and put some of these lines out. So most of my lines I'm gonna be using fish heads. That seems to be the most recommended bait using fish. You could also use meat. So we're gonna use heads and I'll save these bodies for crawfish traps. There's my real grand cichlid, some invasive fish that I caught here. All right. All right, y'all, now for my line, I have this white nylon line that I've had around for a long time. You can use it for crabbing, for, you know, catfish jug lines, really all sorts of purposes. It's very, very strong. Um, uh, it's been out of the package for a long time, so I couldn't tell you the exact size of it, but it's strong stuff, and it'll definitely be strong enough to do the job. All right, now hooks. I've got these Forot O'Shaughnessy hooks. I went with the four aught because the eye here is big enough to fit the line. The three aught and anything lower was not, you didn't have a big enough eye to fit the line through. So this will be my first set. And I did bring a lighter to go ahead and burn the ends, which I've already done. All right, so I'll come on through. Now I'm gonna tie my favorite knot that I tie all my braid with. So basically when I come through the eye, I come back about another six to seven inches, okay? Back up here so y'all can see. Make a loop, okay? So tag end, make a loop, and then start wrapping the inside of the loop. One, two, three, four wraps. Grab the tag end and cinch, okay? And that's my favorite knot for when I tie braided fishing line. So it's going to do really well on this nylon rope as well. I'm going to fish probably about uh, five yards off the bank or so. Okay, so I want this line. Let's go three of my arm lengths, my full arm lengths. So one, that's, you know, I'm five, nine or so. So let's assume my arms are about the same. So that's five nine all right that's getting us over to ten now but i want to go a little bit longer because i don't want any of these turtles to get a sense that something's going on i want them to feel comfortable when they grab it i want them to feel comfortable eating it not feel anything pull back so i went with probably close to about 13 feet here all right now here's the pond i don't know if y'all can see it but that's at least a nine foot gator swimming right there. His whole back's out the water. He's got, there's some smaller gators here, but that guy is a pretty decent sized gator. All right, so what I've got is, this bank is fairly hard. Like I've already stepped in it and I could stand here without sinking. So I want my bait to be right out here, kind of close to the bank. So I'm gonna drive me a stake here and then I'm going to tie off to the stake and throw my bait out. So let me go get my stake. I want to try and hide my hook. So I'm going to come in under the gill. Through. 
out like that. Okay, so I'm coming out from the gill, okay? I'll go ahead and bury the hook and try something like that, okay? So now we've got a hidden hook, fish head. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drop my steak down. Get it in there good. Make sure he won't be able to pull it out. Okay. Walk up my hands. All right, there's my bait. Now we're gonna toss that out there. Okay. So I'm tied off. Here's my stake. Bait's right out here. And we'll go set a few more. So one of the things they were saying was if you set like you set your line out too far, you got a much bigger chance of catching a catfish. So setting, you know, in this like seven to five yard range from the bank seems to be a good idea. Just saw, oh, there he is. There he is right here, alligator. It's a little guy. Just a little guy. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy, you safe with me. All right, so I'm gonna make a set right here. Hopefully it don't catch an alligator. So what I'm doing here, I'm going up every 75, 50 yards or so and putting a line. Um, like I said, I don't even really know that much about this pond, what's in it. So I'm hoping by setting these lines, I'll learn a little bit about the pond. All right, let's try one right here. All right, so on this one, I got a bush I could tie off to, so I just need a little bit longer string. Okay. All right, got my hook. All right, let's go with a big old pogey head on this one, huh? How's that for a nice hidden hook? Nice and bloody too. Throw my bait on out there. All right, let's go ahead and tie off to the main branch of this tree. That's it. Good deal. All right, folks, I got all my turtle lines out. I probably did about 15 total. But while I'm here, I'm also going to go ahead and run some test crawfish traps with the rest of the bait I have. It's also crawfish season, so it'd be cool to come catch a turtle and some crawfish. We'll see. All right, I've got some traps already down here from when I was here in December running test traps. Let's see if I can I see one right there. There's one of my test traps right there. All right, here's a test trap right here. All right. Uh, and I'll take some bait. Throw it in there. Okay. And I'll roll my trap up. I'm gonna stick it. Got to find where right about here make me a hole stick my test strap in the hole there we go okay go down there's another trap right there i'll just pull that one out since i'm testing so close oh it's got a crawfish in it got one crawfish There he goes, going home. All right, so I got some traps in. Shouldn't be that much further. Oh, a rabbit, hello rabbit. Hello. Oh, look at the blackberries, already coming out. This is an early spring this year, y'all, for show.
All right, here's a trap. Okay. Another test trap. Close it up. All right. We'll stick it in. Let's make a hole. Put it in that hole right there. Wrapped up here. There we go. All right. Just be careful. Walk slow. Snakes do live here. This is their house. I'm just a guest. All right. Oh, I see him right there. Look at him. What is that? I can't tell what kind of snake that is. He come up out of that bridge. Now, back in December, this was my best trap. See, it's actually got live crawfish in it right now. And that's what no bait. It's got a live crawfish in it. Okay, all my turtle lines are set. All my crawfish traps are set. Now I'm gonna head home, come back in the morning. Hopefully we got something. Can't wait to see what we get. There's a little alligator right here. I don't know what he thinks he's doing. All right, so line number one. Uh, it's not tight. I do want to check it and see if it's still got a bait on it. It does still have a bait, which is cool. So I got a bait on line number one. So we'll toss it back out. Oh goodness. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay. What are you doing? So a bait came off of that set. Hook it right here. We'll come back and rebait that one eventually. I got a little alligator. One alligator, two alligator. There was another one over there. All right, let's see. Do I have a set right here? No, I must have went a little bit further down. Oh, there's a set. Watching out for snakes. Bait is going on that one. Here's a set. Bait is gone. Bait is gone. I got a crawfish trap somewhere. Let's see. Caught one little bitty crawfish. Check that out. Look how that line's going. That don't look right. Oh, garfish. <sighs> something. Uh oh. Okay. Nothing on that one. A lot of garfish in here, y'all. This one has been yanked up onto the bank. That's, oh, how much you want to bet a garfish got hooked and an alligator ate the garfish. How much you want to bet? I'll bet any money that's what happened right here. See him? 
I bet you a garfish got hooked and an alligator ate him. All right. All right, y'all. Um, I don't know. I, you know, like I said, I had about a 5% chance of that working out and it didn't, you know, uh, I believe there's turtles in that pond. I believe that the garfish were messing with my bait a lot. And I believe I just need to go back and keep trying. So for now, I'm gonna take a ride while I'm already down this way. I've got some areas I wanna scout for crawfish. Uh, I'll probably catch a little bit more bait and go back and bait all my hooks that the garfish messed with. All right, y'all. Well, I went on a little road trip, scouting areas for crawfish. Uh, I had checked all my turtle lines earlier. No luck. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and rebait all of the ones where the bait was taken i'm assuming it was garfish you know when i left yesterday i seen garfish messing with it so let's go ahead and rebate all the rest of these lines something is on that line something is on that line all right let's see <sighs> Oh, I feel it pulling. I see it. What is that? The world? What is that? What? Is that a giant shoe pick? Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Look at the size of this shoe pick. Holy cow. Unbelievable. I don't ever catch shoe pick here. I don't ever catch shoe pick down here. They're living in it. Oh my God. It came unhooked. He came unhooked. Wow. What? Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> That's unbelievable. What? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you serious right now? This is unbelievable, y'all. Caught a giant shoe pick. Bowfin. I don't even know what to say. Oh, he broke my net. You son of a bitch. Huh? Alright, y'all. I don't even know what to say. That is a giant shoe pick. <laughs> I've been asking folks what's going on in this pond ever since I've had access to it. Was hoping to find snapping turtles. Instead found a giant shoe pick. A giant bowfin. That is insane. What a beauty. I would love to catch this on a rod and reel. It's good to know they're here. How about that? That is a giant shoe pick. Too cool. Unbelievable. Well, it doesn't always work out the way you want, but sometimes you catch something. I appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Like the video. Don't worry. I'm fixing to set these lines again for snapping turtles. Hopefully we'll have one here soon. We'll see y'all next time.